Hey guys, it's Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor. How are you guys? I'm doing something a little different today that I haven't done um, before, which is paint pouring on an 18 inch round door hanger. So I'm trying to make sure I've got you guys in frame here. <laughs> Let me uh, switch this one up here. There we go. Now you guys can see. Okay, so we're gonna be doing a paint pour on this 18 inch round cutout. And um, I wanna have you guys help me choose the colors of what I'm gonna do. What you doing, sis? Mm -hmm. Charlie came in here, she's grabbing some baby wipes. Yeah. You get them? Won't you make okay, I'll get it closed. She always leaves the baby wipes open and then they dry out. Okay, so we've got this round blank here and we're just gonna be doing some paint pouring on it. I wanna like paint pour the entire thing and then, um, I'm thinking that like later after it's dry, I could paint some words on it or maybe add a 3D cutout to it or something like that fun. Hey Wanda, happy Halloween. Hello Billy, hi Cindy. How are you guys? It doesn't feel like Halloween today here to me because we went trick or treating last night and so it feels kind of funny because um, we've already celebrated Halloween and we're kind of done. Um, did everybody go trick or treating last night? Did you have a good time? Hi Deborah. So we've got four colors. Um, that we're gonna choose between, or not four colors, but four combinations that we're gonna choose between. So you guys get to help me choose. So we have two that are like in the warm color tones and two that are in the cool color tones. So this was my thinking. If we do one of the warm color tones, I could do something sort of uh, Thanksgiving or fallish on one of these colors as like a word or like I could write thankful or grateful or something like that. Uh, thank you, Cindy. I posted a picture. She's talking about the picture of my kids trick-or-treating. I posted it to my page late last night. So if you want to see what my kids dressed up as, go check that out on my page. You had a deadlift competition. Awesome. Uh, my husband's into CrossFit. He would probably enjoy that sort of thing. Hey, Pam, trick-or-treat. Um, and then if we do these cool colors, I'm thinking we might could do something winterish. Like I could do something for Christmas or maybe a snowman or something like that on top of the paint pour. So we're only paint pouring on the wooden round today and then on another day we'll do something else to it to add like a word or a 3D element. So um, first of all let's narrow it down. Do you want warm colors or cool colors? So here's our choices with warm. We've got this one that's called Sweet Treat and it has uh -huh. light pink, hot pink, orange, and Mom. yellow. Yes Charlie. What? Oh, I'm don't tell me. To clean it. Okay, okay. Well, don't tell me about that while I'm on live. That'd be embarrassing. Go on out. Go. Okay, we'll take them with you. <laughs> the second color combination is uh, groovy gold, and this one has metallic gold in it. So we have gold, we have pink, uh, sort of a coral orange, and then a light pink. So these are the second option for warm colors. And then here's your cool color options. I'm seeing lots of people saying cool colors. Y'all are feeling the cool. I, got, I get the feeling y'all are ready for Christmas decorations. This is called Soothing Nature. And it has white, sort of a teal mint color, a light blue, and then like a, it's more like that emerald green kind of color. So that is Soothing Nature. And then we have Lagoon. Lagoon has a purple in it. And then it's got like a couple of different kinds of turquoise and blue, and then a light blue. So, hang on, my daughter left the door open. Let me shut this, because all the background noises are distracting me while you guys decide which one you want me to do. Okay, so is everybody kind of, I think the consensus from what I've been seeing in the comments is people want cool colors. So we're gonna set these to the side. So now it's narrowed down between these. Do you want Lagoon or Soothing Nature? Lagoon or Soothing Nature? Teresa says Lagoon. Debbie says cool. So I'm thinking if we did Lagoon, this would be cute with some kind of snowflake or a snowman or something on it because you, you can see that it creates sort of a wintry feeling color. Um, and then Soothing Nature would be really cute um, if we did something Christmassy on top of it because it's more in the green tones of family. Okay, I'm seeing two or three people saying Lagoon. I see one person said warm. Um, Lagoon, Lagoon, okay. I'm feeling like Lagoon is the winner here. So y'all liking this purple and blue? You like the idea of doing a snowman on top of this? I think it might be really pretty. All right, we're gonna open this pack up. This is a pack of the Fluid Art Ready to Pour Paints from Deco Art. If you haven't tried these out, they're great. 
They come in little packs like this and they and so that you know that these colors work well together. And there's no mixing involved, y'all. I don't have to do any mixing. All the colors are already pre-mixed. Um, one thing that I did forget to grab was I wanted to get some of these little uh, Dixie cups or something to sit my door hanger up on because I'm going to let it drip onto the cardboard, but I need to elevate it so that so that it ha it doesn't stick to the cardboard. So I'm just going to use these little Dixie cups like kickstands. And we're, or we're gonna, like risers, if you will, we'll put these underneath. By the way, if you wanna get one of these wooden rounds, these are 18 inches and we have these on sale right now in our shop. You can get them for just $12 because we have a workshop coming up that's starting tomorrow night. We're gonna be teaching this Christmas cake door hanger workshop. So if you wanna participate in this, it's just $10 to sign up. I did put the link down in the video description and you can get the wooden blank from us for just $12 right now. Normally they're 18. What's up, Brett? My son has come in here. Do you so need I'll some? Watch, I'll watch, um you want me to download a game to your phone? Yeah. <laughs> uh, gives you anxiety how much is wasted. I know, Holly. I had to just kind of like let go of that feeling. It's really difficult, but. And can I download it on my Xbox? It's free. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think it worked. All right. Shut the door on your way out. Olaf style. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's kind of makes you feel weird because you're like, feel like you're wasting paint. But um, the overall effect is so worth it. So there's a couple different ways we could do this. We could fill up a cup and do a dirty pour, but we've done several of those on here um, lately. So I feel like maybe we could try something different this time. There's something called a ribbon pour where you kind of pour the colors on a little at a time. Hey, Brett. I just remembered I needed something from the other room. I was going to see if he could bring it to me. Hey, Brett. I need, I need a pager in my craft room. Paging my child. It's going to be neat, isn't it, Deborah? I'm excited. So what do y'all think I should do on it? Be coming up with some ideas for me. <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Brett's bedroom is on the other side of this wall. I was going to have him run and get my hair dryer. Because I think I may need it. Hey, Brett. I'm not going to knock on the wall and see if he'll come in here. My hair dryer is on the other end of the house because I have switched to primarily using this little craft tool dryer, which is great, but it doesn't blow. And I wanna like try doing the, the where you blow and then they kind of mix together. Okay, April's saying do a ribbon pour. So ribbon pour is where you kind of like pour it across like one color at a time and you kind of let the colors, but I have seen it done different ways. I've seen a ribbon pour where you have multiple cups of paint and then you just pour them across, but it creates a ribbon effect. So maybe we'll try that. We might need like at least four of these cups. My child is not hearing me. I may have to. Hey, Brett! I'm gonna have to yell really loud. <laughs> oh, he heard me that time. Here he comes. Glitter. Oh, yes. We should do some glitter. Yeah. Can you run to my bathroom and get my hair dryer out of the drawer and bring it in here? Okay. Thank you, dear. I don't know what I did with the pink hair dryer that I used to have in here. It's disappeared. If you would put wax paper under your board, it will catch the runoff. Oh, good idea. So there you go. Lisa's got an idea for you. Okay, so we have blue violet, aquamarine, tropical blue, which is beautiful, and then sky blue. I'm thinking I'm going to pour a little bit of each one. Oh, goodness. They've got safety seals on them. This could take a second. I've got to take the safety seals off. Hey, and if you could plug it in. Oh, hang on. There's already a hair dryer plugged in in here. Go tell Brett I said never mind. I have lost my mind, y'all. We were in here last night using the craft room um, to do Halloween makeup. Oh, no. So my hair dryer's already sitting in here because we were using it to like dry the makeup on their face. Charlie, will you go tell Brett that I said never mind? Because he's probably looking high and low for my hair dryer and it's not in there. You can come right back in here. No. No. You better go. No, uh-uh. That's not an option. You can't climb up on the table. That will, will spell out disaster. Go. Go tell your brother what I'm I said. Watch. Don't make me spank you on Facebook Live. <laughs> she gave me a look like, I'm not sure you'd really do that. <laughs> right. 
add white and glitter to the snow. Oh, that would be fun. There's not any white in this set, so maybe, do you think we, I no, totally no, forgot no. my hair dryer was already in here from where we did oh, I face paint. I almost one. stepped on it earlier. Yeah, I don't know what happened to the pink one. Thank you though. I don't need it anymore. I just realized too that I need to scoot this forward or we're gonna have it dripping on the floor. Should we add some white in with these colors? Cause these colors don't have white. It does have the light blue. I think maybe it needs a touch of white. Touch of white? Yeah, I got some white over here. We can add white in. <laughs> you will go to jail. Yeah, somebody will probably report me. Our kit, uh, are putting down a solid white or another color on the background so it will flow smoothly. Oh, you guys know more about this than I do. I haven't done a whole lot of paint pour. So is that a good idea to put down some white first? Maybe we should do that. <laughs> Julie's quoting yeah. me. Don't make me spank you on Facebook Live. Yep. That's what I said. Uh, yeah. Hey, will you go get me some water? I'm going to need it to rinse out this brush in a minute. We're going to put the white down as uh, recommended. Who recommended that? I didn't even catch your name. But that's probably a good idea. Don't, don't do it without me. Okay, Charlie's so afraid she's going to miss it. She wants to do it with me. I don't know if I'm supposed to use regular white or the fluid art white, but we're going to use the fluid art just in case it makes it easier for things to flow. It probably doesn't matter either way. And I doubt it matters too much about how smooth this paint is. Got it? Thank you, dear. I just splattered paint across my yeah. boob. Thank you. That was a lot of water. Hey, don't climb on the table. Instead, if you want to pull that chair over here, you can sit beside me. She's climbing up on the desk. I'm afraid she's going to make this thing teeter off and fall on the floor or something, and then we'll have a disaster of paint all over teeter, my carpet. Teeter, teeter, I have carpet teeter. in my craft room. Can you believe that? It's teeter. not ideal, but this used to be a bedroom. Okay. We that got was our layer. my bedroom. Yeah, it used to be your bedroom, didn't yes. it? Just put that door hanger in the floor. Um, it needs to be a little thicker so it does so it doesn't have time to dry. It is pretty thick. Like it's not gonna dry anytime soon. Um, if you have some pearl, I don't have any pearl. That's for good right there. Climb up there. Okay, Charlie's here with us too. All right, let's start layering our colors into. Whoops, <laughs> already dropped some on the door hanger. Into our cups. I'm gonna try to put them in there at the same sort of time here. Ooh. Baby, baby. Shh, hey, if you're gonna be in here, you can't be talking. Baby, baby. Unless you have something to say to everybody. <laughs> and I don't know what's the best way to do this either. So I'm just like at the same time squeezing some of these colors. Oh, you almost made these cups fall off. Calm down. Is this the same? I really don't know how much paint is required either because this is the biggest thing I've ever done a paint pour on. Oh, I probably should have added some white too. <gasps> Creepy paint. Remember I got... You have carpet okay. in your craft room too? I'm hoping to eventually... Um, I'm talking. I'm hoping to eventually uh, put hardwood floor down in here or something. Um, oh, it just hasn't you. been a priority, you know? Tell, I want to tell you something. What, Charlie, what? Um... Tell me. You made me laugh. Now I made you forget what you wanted to say. Cause you made me wait. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, now I got it. Um. Remember, I got a picture with that pig man. Yeah, last, last night. night at the restaurant, there was a boy dressed up like a pig man, pig. and they were afraid she would be scared of him, but she wasn't. Were you? Yeah. She wanted to make a picture with him, so she got her picture made with the pig man. Mom, look at the pig man. This is a lot of paint, y'all. Look at the pig man. And I still have plenty in these bottles to use for another project. So we'll see how much, how long this will go. What, what, what? Pig man. Okay, I don't want to talk about the video game. We're doing a paint pour. All right, while the paint's still wet, let's do this. This is what our cups look like. They have all four colors plus white in them. Oh, thank you, Lisa. You must do this a lot. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, I'm just going to pour it across here. I want to listen to that. That's pretty. Look how pretty, pretty. that is. <gasps> okay, so there's cup number one. The cup number two. Ooh. I want to do the cup number uh, 
no, Mama's doing this one by herself today. I want to. Nope, nope, nope. Please. You can do. You can do paint pour on another day. This is this is special. Uh, hey, you can stay here and watch, or you can whine and get kicked out. Your choice. All right. I don't know if this is enough paint or not, but we're gonna use the hair dryer to spread it out. So let's see how this looks. And that's I'm a little nervous. It needs more, so we're gonna pour some more in a cup and keep moving. <laughs> she said, "You tell her, Mama." Yeah. Uh, she tries to run the show sometimes. You like it? I do too. It's really pretty. No, I'm looking at this. Okay. I don't know how many ounces each of these little cups is, but we're gonna. Can I pour in this time? No. Oh. I'm just gonna fill in some of the gaps here and Never then blow. Do it blow the paint again and see if we can get it to cover. I also may be able to pick it up a little bit and let it run. Ah! Don't touch anything, please. All right. Nope, we're going to use the hair dryer. Ah! You're about to push me. that did not cover so I've got some on my hand I'm just gonna scrape it off on the door hanger <laughs> I mean not the, yeah on the door hanger and there's a little spot right here that didn't cover this is actually really beautiful oh did I get you oh don't panic it up to high is probably not a good idea. <laughs> this is so pretty. Mommy. Let me see if I can kind of show you guys a little bit better. Right. Hang on. Hush for a minute. Look how pretty you guys. It's beautiful. Oh, and it's like dripping and sliding. Let's just let it do, let it do its thing. <gasps> if I hold it up, some of the excess is kind of moving and sliding, which is pretty. I thought you were going to do the other side. No, I'm just doing one side. You say okay like you don't trust me. Okay. Just you have to do both. <laughs> this is so pretty. Terry says spin it. Yeah, I don't think I'm I'm gonna spin it. Not in here. If I were outdoors, I might spin it. I'm letting it kind of run and mix together. That is really pretty. All right. I'm making a huge mess of myself. I may have to have Charlie press the button to turn this live off when we're done because I'm literally wearing. It's faint. Use a straw to blow in small specific areas. Good tips. You guys give me all the tips because I'm new to fluid art and I need all the help I can get. Don't, okay, don't get it on you because then you'll have it on everything else. I'm kind of running my hand along the edge to get the drips and excess kind of dripping off. What'd you do with those baby wipes? In my room. <laughs> ah! Don't knock it off in the floor. All right, I got a mess to clean up, so that's all for now. Uh, we will come back. I don't know how long it'll be. It may be a week or two, and we'll do something else on this piece, but we're going to let it dry really, really, really good before we do anything else. Um, your son says it's okay like that. He doesn't believe me either. <laughs> All right, y'all have a great afternoon. Don't forget to so go sign up for the door hanger workshop that we're doing with the Christmas tree cake design you see hanging up behind me. You'll just need one of these 18 inch rounds. You can get them at a local store or you can order them from us. It starts tomorrow night at 7 p.m. These rounds are on sale right now for $12 in our shop if you wanna get some. Also, um, even if you can't participate in the workshop live tomorrow night with us, if you're ordering your wood round and have to wait for it to come in, you'll be able to watch the, the video on replay. Um, no, I didn't, I didn't heat any. Should I do some heat?
to make this. There are cells coming up. My hands are so filthy. I hate to touch anything else. Charlie, bring me the baby wipes. <laughs> Let's see if I can wipe my hand on the cardboard. Enough to be able to touch the hair dryer. Bring, thank you. Yeah, bring me a baby wipe. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna need more than one. <laughs> this is not a one baby wipe mess. As you mamas know, changing diapers, sometimes you have messes that take multiple baby wipes. Okay, so you said use the hair dryer to see if we can get some cells to pop up. This is, this is actually a heat tool, so it puts out more heat than a hair dryer does. I see little bitty bubbles forming. Is that what I'm supposed to see? There may not be enough paint underneath there now to get them to come to the surface because I kind of let it slide all over the place, so I don't know. But I do see little bubbles popping. But I don't see a whole lot happening other than that. I may need to get one that um, like puts out more heat than that. <laughs> Way to go with the baby wipes, Charlie. Yes, for sure. She has already moved on to better things now that the project has been poured. She has run off to the other room, so she's not interested anymore. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me today. If you want to be notified when I go live next time, I did put my text number in the description. You can also text me questions, pictures of your projects and whatnot. So I will um, keep that checked. I'm, I'm the one who responds to those messages. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.